let us see modification of leaves whole leaves or parts of leaves are often modified for special functions such as climbing and substrate attachment storage and protection against predation or climatic conditions for trapping and digesting insect prey etc so there are different functions that the leaf perform other than photosynthesis so let us see the different modifications in detail so first we will see modification of leaf for storage so certain plants like xerophytic plants the plants which exist in extremely dry climatic conditions for storage of water these plants have succulent leaves so that they can store water and to avoid desiccation means drying up the leaves are thick and fleshy in the same way there are certain plants which have modified leaves in order to store food examples are garlic and onion in the same way xerophytic plants examples will be cactus opium etc leaf tendrils so in case of tendrils usually we see that some plants have very weak stems and for support so that and for support and so that the plant can grow easily by climbing on certain fixed substrates the plant has modified thin wire like long coiled structures which are known as tendrils and these tendrils they coil around the structure and they help the plant to grow in case of tendrils different parts of the plants can be modified into the leaf tendril like the stipule of the plant or the petiole of the leaf the leaf tip or the entire leaf example is p if you see a p plant it has tendrils with which it tends to hold substances or hold a support and grow easily these are other examples of leaf tendrils where you can see that the tendril is holding on to another stem and growing another example will be bitter gourd and watermelon the next modification is spines or thorns leaves of certain plants become wholly or partially modified for defense purpose to protect themselves and they have sharp pointed structures which are known as spines these spines protect the plant from grazing animals and they reduce the water loss from the plant in the form of transpiration examples are opuntia and aloe vera barberry so if you look over here you will see the picture of opuntia and aloe vera and this is barberry on the top you can see this is the spine of the plant whereas this is the fruit of barberry these are the berries the next modification is scale leaves in this the leaves are modified in the shape of scales and help in protecting the buds or other inner pa parts of the plant they also store food and water so this makes the leaves thick and fleshy example is onion asparagus this is asparagus and ginger phyllode is a modification of leaf where the petiole of the compound leaf is flattened and green in color if you look at the picture you can see the petiole is flattened and green in color so it is expanded unlike the other petioles where the petiole is simply a thin cylindrical stalk so it helps in photosynthesis and this is usually seen when the leaves easily wither away so once the leaf falls away the petiole performs the function of photosynthesis and provides food to the plant example is australian acacia 
hooks are the next modification of leaves and you will see this in begonia plant where the leaf is modified into claw like hooks which helps the plant in climbing and uh, climbing so that it gets a support and it can grow easily then we have insect eating plants a few plants require extra nitrogen for their for com for ful fulfilling their nutrients so they have certain leaf modifications which help help them to fulfill their nutrient requirements examples of plants which eat insects are pitcher plant bladderwort venus flytrap and sundew so in case of a pitcher plant you will see that the leaf lamina is modified into a pitcher so this is the pitcher with a lid on top of it and inside the pitcher there is a fluid which has a very nice fragrance so this fragrance attracts insects and also there are small hair like structures present inside the inside the pitcher which are projecting downwards once the insect enters the pitcher it cannot leave as the juice inside the digested juices inside are sticky in nature so when the insect enters the lid closes and the digested juices help the plant to to digest the nutrients from the insect in case of venus flytrap you'll see that the leaf is divided into two parts with the midrib which acts like a like the hinge of a door so as soon as and at the tip if you look at the margin of the leaf you will see pointed structures these hair like structures have sensory cells on it as soon as an insect touches any part of the leaf the leaf senses the presence of the insect and it closes and traps the insect followed by digesting the nutrients or the juices from the insect's body this is sundew where the lamina possesses numerous hair like projections which have if you look at the diagram you will see it has certain sticky substance at the tip of the hair like projection these are enzymes again these attract insects and once the insect sits on the hair like structure they have sensory cells and they start trapping the insect and they digest the juices from the insect's body this is bladderwort which is found in water bodies and here the segments of the leaves are modified into bladders and these bladders trap and digest insect juices this is all about modification of leaves thank you